In tonight's cover story, up a creek with a paddle. A professional paddle boarding athlete lost some of his physical abilities when he developed a rare neurological disorder, but he gained a new mental outlook on how to deal with challenges. And now he is making history as the first athlete with disabilities to cross all of the Great Lakes. WGN's Mike Lowe spoke with him on his journey across Lake Michigan. The rising sun reflected on Lake Michigan. And 39-year-old Mike Shoreman reflected. Here we are three years later. On the journey that brought him to the sandy shoreline and back from the edge. I had a mental health breakdown. In 2018, the athletic professional paddleboarder. I was a paddleboarding coach. I taught professionally. Uh, I did lessons and rentals as a living. Was diagnosed with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, a rare neurological disorder that caused facial paralysis and a number of other serious physical problems. In my case, it was severe. Um, so all the nerves in my face shattered and I developed hearing impairments and vision impairments, speech impairments. Um, and I spent a year learning how to walk again. Perhaps worst of all, it cost this Canadian coach his balance, the most critical skill for a stand-up paddleboarder. The doctor said that I would never paddleboard again. Met with no at every turn, he started saying it to himself. I didn't want to be seen in public. I didn't want to run into people at the supermarket. Just when it seemed like he was drowning, a friend threw him a life raft asking him to participate in a water safety demonstration for the media in Toronto. I had to reach for this lifeline and say yes. Then another friend asked if he'd consider getting back on the paddleboard. The challenge was so fulfilling and inspirational to others, he was asked to address Speaker Slam, Canada's largest inspirational speaking competition. Saying yes again brought me back up to the surface. When we say yes to ourselves one time, yeah, just once, it makes it easier for us to say yes to ourselves the next time. Amen. Two yeses became three, and three became five, and before I knew it, I'd stop saying no to myself. The speech Things went viral. Ashton Kutcher started sharing it, and Jay Shetty started sharing it. It got millions of views. My main message is saying yes to yourself when you don't think that you can do something. After strenuous rehab, he's back on his longboard and calling himself the unbalanced paddleboarder. <laughs> I can paddleboard again. The sport is a cross between surfing and canoeing, requiring balance and endurance, constant pulling against the rigid resistance of the Great Lakes. And he set out on a 44-mile trek across Lake Michigan, starting here at New Buffalo Beach in Michigan. Today we'll attempt to cross the fourth Great Lake um, in six weeks. He's on a quest to become the first athlete with a disability to cross all of the Great Lakes on a paddleboard. You just have to go into it being as tough as you can be. There is pain. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's grueling and I'm really looking forward to having a hot shower tomorrow in Chicago. With a trail boat following closely for safety, he's crossed Lake Erie, Lake Huron, and Lake Superior, raising money for mental health programs along the way. The trip across Lake Michigan took nearly 30 hours, nonstop through the night. And as he paddled toward Chicago with the skyline on the horizon, the rising sun once again reflected something. Nice work, Mike. The promise of a new day and the new possibilities that await when we say yes. When people tell you that you can't do something, it really motivates you. you know, we can all do things to make the world a little bit better of a place. In Chicago, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Well, you can feel wow. his emotion that he went through to, 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 to endure that 44 miles. So inspirational. Yeah, look him up. Say yes. Learn more. Yeah. <laughs> well, on August 10th, Sherman plans to paddle across Lake Ontario.